Long ago, between the Euphrates and Tigris rivers, grew a budding society of peaceful farmers, marking the dawn of history. Ran by noble lords, their culture was a peaceful one of prosperity and understanding. We're right on to war cards! Civilization 6, how to play Gilgamesh. Samaria is an early game civilization that focuses on military might as its key win condition. The war cart is Sumer's signature unit. With powerful stats, it allows you to play ahead of the curve, which will allow you to establish map control early on. With base 30 strength, they're resilient, and with base 3 movement speed, 4 if you start the turn on open terrain, they're fast. Like most cavalry, just try to avoid hills and forests. War carts are your bread and butter, your mustard and ketchup, your cheese and pretzel. Costing only 55 production, you'll be able to churn these bad boys out in no time. Even though they're a heavy cavalry unit, they have no weakness to spearmen. It's insane. It's crazy. They even have no tech requirements, so you don't even have an excuse. Not one excuse. I don't want to hear a lick from you if you ain't making war cards. Samaria's civilization ability is called Epic Quest. When you capture a barbarian outpost, you get a village perk. So remember, barbarians are your friends. And like friends, destroy as many of their homes as possible to take advantage of their unique ability. Samaria's unique improvement is the Ziggurat. They can't be built on hills, but allow you to catch up in science, provided you have the citizens to work them. This improvement is helpful in populated cities where you couldn't devote production to building campuses. And hey, if you build them next to a river, you get additional culture. Gilgamesh's unique leader ability is Adventures with a Kindu, sharing plunder and combat experience with an allied civ, provided they have a unit nearby. You can also levy city-states at half price. Hey, that's pretty good. Civics. Starting out, you generally want to grab the Discipline and Urbing Planning Civics after discovering Code of Law. This will help you develop an early military and quickly clear any nearby barbarian outposts. Then, make a beeline for the Maneuver Policy from the Military Tradition Civic. Clearing an outpost is the inspiration for Military Tradition, which you're looking to do because of Sumer's unique ability anyways. This policy will give you an additional 100%. 100%. 100% production towards ancient and classical era cavalry units. That means war cards. Quick tips. 1. Focus on early game map control. 2. Take as many barbarian camps as you can to abuse your unique ability. 3. Get the maneuver policy. 4. Catch up on science with ziggurats. 5. War carts, war carts, war carts. But don't neglect range units like slingers and archers too. You might need them for sieging. Hey, here's some final words. Gilgamesh is an easy leader for any Civ beginner to grasp. With an aggressive and volatile playstyle, picking Gilgamesh will be sure to make the early game exciting. I'm Trizen. Please leave a comment below on what you like or don't like about the video, and if you want to see more, <laughs> subscribe or something. Until next time, stay classy, friends.